It's random picture time. So it's like I wanted to share just a few photos I was going through. Um, this was my parents. They went to, um, they, a woman named Karen uh, had a, um, uh, a they, she had a um, uh, anniversary party, 50, when they had their 50th anniversary, a few months later, somebody actually put together a party for them. And so this is, I believe this is taken at the, at the party. I'm pretty sure it was taken at their 50th wedding anniversary party. And I got another photo of that. Pretty sure this is the same, same thing. Uh, them at the anniversary party with all their friends and stuff. And they were given presents and stuff. I gave them the best present though. I gave them a, I actually bought them a car. I was making good money at the time and I bought them a car, <laughs> a uh, Toyota Corolla 2004, which we actually just recently sold. And it's like we got a video on that. And then um, this is, uh, it's kind of funny. It's like, uh, this is uh, my parents and I bought t-shirts I think it was probably t I think this was taken in 2005 it looks like yeah August 2005 it looks like anyway so that's them um, I you know I have skipper keys I've had skipper keys since 1981 so that's at some point I guess I was kind of goofing around bought a couple of t-shirts it's like here wear these t-shirts I don't think I don't even know if they kept them or you know whatever I just don't remember but it's like they put both put the skipper key skipper key t-shirts on and uh, you can actually find this on Ancestry.com. I have, um, you know, it's like I've got, I know I've got this photo up of them uh, on Ancestry.com. You can look them up. Um, there's, um, uh, this. these were taken in the summer of 1971, uh, the horse show at the Indio Date Festival, which, we, you know, we went to a, a couple of times, at least a couple of times. And I remember this distinctly because it was really super hot and I probably didn't drink enough water or something and I was just exhausted after this thing. Uh, it was fun, but it was it was really hot. And uh, we went back to the ho motel room that we were staying in and, uh, and uh, um, uh, we watched, I think I remember watching Ben-Hur on TV. I just like laid out, we had something to eat in the motel room because I wasn't up to, up to laid out watching Ben-Hur. And this is another one from the same thing, uh, Indio Days Festival in 19, the summer of 1971. Not sure if they still have the Indio Day Festival. I have to, I'd have to look it up. I think they probably do. Um, and it was fun. It's like fun, one of the many fun trips that we went on when we were growing up. And you know, I would have been 18 then. Um, I would say probably just graduated high school. And then um, I wanted to share this picture. This is my nephew. Joshua and uh, that's my dog one of my dogs it was actually our first dog you know Ken got this dog it's, he's named him he named her Dynamo which didn't really fit her she was a very sweet dog I wish I had a better picture of her and this you know showed more, more of her in this picture but the other thing about this picture is it shows my um, the rocking chair that Pappy bought me and I know uh, Josh would sit in it and you know play in it and stuff too and at one time this this uh, rocking chair there's pictures of me in this rocking chair when I was a little kid and uh, it's played uh, it, it had a music box on the back and that played uh, who's afraid of the big bad wolf I still have the rocking chair and um, it does it hasn't played been able to play the tune in, in many years and so that it stopped working some years ago so I just thought that was a really neat picture and then, uh, and then there's uh, it, it, the one interesting this is my mom and dad and I don't know what year this was probably around 1970 if I had to guess um, um, anyway this is um, uh, barbecue I think they just looks like they just bought the barbecue and so they're celebrating the barbecue but what I like about this picture the one of the things I like about this photo is the fact that it shows my our backyard the way it used to look it's like it has um, it's got um, you can kind of still see the grapevine over here the the uh, wood on the side and then in back of them is uh, was our um, apricot tree which is long unfortunately long gone they they cut it down they they were told by somebody that it was sick or something and and they cut it down and then they uh we had actually a seedling from a seedling from that uh tree and um you know, we pl put it in its place and that got that grew kind of grew up and back in probably god it's like 
mid 90s or something uh, I think it was around 95 it's like they had they they had it cut down again which was unfortunately they, sh they should have just left it alone um, I think that's when somebody said it, that one was sick too or something but actually uh, when the you know Terry I think actually cut it down but Terry said it's like he didn't think it was sick at all it was that there was nothing wrong with it so it's like I wish they'd left it it was in a good spot in the yard perfect spot for shade and the apricots were really good it's like we used to always have apricots every summer so anyway that's uh, some story of some pictures